Snake is awesome. So how about we make Snake from scratch, from beginning to end. We're not going to use an engine like Unity or Unreal. We're going to try and make it very close to how it would have been made in the day, from complete scratch. Let's have a quick look at how Snake actually works. Very simply, a little snake moves around, each food gets bigger. We, we probably know the premise. Before we actually go into making Snake though, I thought, I know what. This time, we're going to have a timer in the corner. We can see how long it takes to make this game from start to finish. I couldn't find one, so that was an epic fail. But hey, I'm a coder, I'm a programmer, I'll make one. And with the click of the fingers, guess what? Here we have a timer. And voila! Here we have a working timer to keep track of how slow I am at making games. Yeah, this is... Didn't really think this through, did I? Anyway, now let's start with Snake. We've started things off by creating ourselves a new project and calling it Snake. The first thing that we're going to actually create with our Snake is our background. So we'll go straight into here and we'll set our background color to black. Now we need to go about creating our snake body. And to do that, we'll create ourselves a new class. Here we have our basic snake class with an update and a render. We need to now flesh out some properties. Now, the way I'm thinking of, of doing the snake itself is to have that each part of the body is part of a massive list that we have on a, or an array. I'll use a list because the snake's body is going to grow and um, as you eat so that will suit it better than using an array. So here we have our list. It is made up of points because it's going to have an x, y coordinate which is going to represent each point on the body. Now we actually need a body texture and we're just going to use a simple rectangle. And like I've done in the previous video, I'm just going to create a 1v1 texture and then I can draw it to whatever grid size we're going to work with. So I've defined our texture 2D and I have set it as a 1v1 pixel. So the only thing we now need to do is to actually set the color data of our texture so that we can actually set it to white in this instance because that's what I want the actual color to be. So it's, a, it's an array which is going to be of color.white like so. The reason it, we use white is then when I come to drawing it, I can add a tint to it and change the color whenever I wish. So now I'm going to add a basic constructor to our snake. And in this constructor, we will actually create the snake's body. Well, let's say that we'll make the snake have four parts to its body to start with. And that's what I've done here in the constructor. I'm, I've gotten a loop and I'm going to add four points on top of each other. Now, though, I've realized that I need to define a grid space. Now, before I can do that, I just need to set the actual texture, sorry, game size, how big our game window is. I'm going to target 720p, so I'll just input that right now. Now, 720p may seem quite small, and by today's standards, it is. But we're working on an old game here, and there's no point in me using a higher resolution. I'll be using some external scaling factors so that the actual output window could be of any size we want. But for now, we will leave it at this. So we have 720p screen, so we have 720 vertically. We now to, need to work out a grid size that we're going to work at. Now, the original snake was not in widescreen, but everything is widescreen nowadays. So we will make it widescreen. Let's therefore define a grid size and work from there. So I've gone with a grid size of 50 and as you can see there is 25 going across and 14 or 15 down. Hang on, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 10, 12, 14 going down. So that will be our grid size for our snake. I know that the body is going to fill each grid so I will take a little bit off each side, maybe one pixel. So the body size for each snake is going to be 48 pixels each. I've added a actual snake as a player here and I've added the update and the render for it. In the snake I've just fixed a little bug that I had there and I've made it that in the draw I'm going to render our snake's body which is of four segments which we've created. So now we can preview how this looks in the game and as you can see we have four sections of this snake that have been rendered for our body. Next up we need to know what direction our snake is moving in and when it moves we need to make the trail move so let's implement that now here is my direction enum up right down and left 
and we are setting the default direction to up. Now in the update, we need to make our tail, or should I say our body, move. I've done that. I add a new position when we're going up, and then I remove the old one. Next up is the speed that the actual snake is moving at. So we'll use this as a float speed. The snake wants to go faster as time goes on. From the start of it, we will say that speed equals one and this is going to be in seconds so the slower this number is the faster the snake will move that has now been implemented with our speed working and we can actually see how this works right now you can see that it is actually moving up so now i need to add the other cardinal directions now that that's done we now need to actually make the ability to move using the keyboard so we're going to have to ha add a handle input section I've just added two keyboard states. I'm going to add handle input to our update. And then on our keyboard states, we're going to now check for key presses. Now we have that actually working. We can see that I can move up and right, etc., down. But I can also move back up once I'm moving down, which would cause some awful collisions. So let's get that fixed. Now that that's fixed, what I would like is for the snake to move faster and get longer when we eat some fruit. So let's now add our fruit. Here is my food class. We have our basic texture that we have for this class. We have an update, a render, and we're also going to have a lifetime, which is going to be that our food after 10 seconds will disappear. So we need to implement that into the food. It also needs a position, and then we need to do some logic to see if the snake can eat it. Interestingly, we've just gone past half an hour of game time or development time for this game. I've finished creating the code for the food. So in this instance, as you can see, we have a couple of things. First off, we now have an update. We have a generate food. So it literally every 10 seconds, it will randomly place it in a location and we can render it to the screen. So if I show you how this looks now, you can see there's our food. We have some bugs, can't currently pick it up. We just go straight through it. So the first thing to do is enable us to pick up that food, but also the snake is moving way too slow. So let's fix those two things. Now we can eat the food. The snake is faster, and also I fix one or two bugs. But, hang on a minute, we're eating food, we have an issue. There's no score. Let's fix that right now. One, two, three, and there we have it, a score. Oh, hang on, there we go. Another bug, score doesn't increase. Two seconds. And second attempt, victory! The star score works. Just need to realign it properly, but here we have a score. Also, the snake will now get faster. There's just a couple of things left to do. The snake is actually getting longer, which we want. Um, two seconds. We can also run through ourselves currently, and also we can go off screen without getting a game over. Let's fix that right now. And here we have snake working. We have the game of snakes. So let's see how far I can get in this game. So it's getting quite fast now. Um, still controlling pretty well though, although I do keep missing that one, which is not good. Hey, oh, game over. There we go. Score 430. Well, hey, press space to play again. So I press the space bar and the game starts again. Completely reset. So that took me an hour and 10 minutes to make. There's no sound effects or other things, but got a basic game of snake built from scratch without an engine in just over an hour i hope you enjoyed this video i'll upload the source code for this game as well as the previous game i've just got to figure out where i'm going to upload it to so that you can access it as always thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it